Hi, in this video we're going to demonstrate Aetna Traders back office. The back office is the web platform for administering all of the trading activities that are happening on the platform. So things like account management, reviewing and overseeing traders' positions, selection of tradable securities, configuration of commissions, configuration of fat finger rules and all similar operations are performed in the back office. The back office is usually hosted on your domain where the trading terminal is. It can be something like admin.yourtradingterminal.com or something like that. As you can see here, our own back office of the demo platform is located at admin.demo.etnetrader.com. All right, now let's move over to trading accounts. When you open the back office, the first tab you see is accounts. And this tab is responsible for displaying all of the trading accounts on your platform. The second column displays all of the numbers of the trading accounts. Uh, the first tab displays the associated user's login, and then you have the first and last name of the trader, the account value, the open access parameter, then you have the daily changes. Here you can also enable or disable various trading accounts. For example, if you want to disable a trading for a specific user, you can do that right here. Uh, you can also edit the account, and you can reload the account uh, if uh, something took place outside Aetna Trader and you would like to reconcile the conflict by clicking this button. At the top you can filter all of the trading accounts by various criteria. You can specify the account number to look for a specific account. You can search for a specific trader by specifying their login, their first and last name. You can filter traders by enabled accounts, by enabled users, by the date on which their accounts were created, by their statuses, by their permissions their residency, and so forth. Once you're done, you can just click go and all of the trading accounts will be sorted by the specified criteria. So let's look for a specific account. Let's click edit. So here you can see which agreements the user has or has not signed yet. The trader's address, residency, financial information, income statement. All of these settings can be changed for example, you can change the trader's risk tolerance uh, from conservative to moderate or whichever you prefer. Pretty much all of the critical information is here. You can look through it, you can change it if you need to. Once you're done, you can just click save and all of the new settings will be applied to this trading account. Uh, if you want to learn more about a specific trading account, you can just click on it. And that will bring up the assets view which shows the current account balance. So you can see the trading account's cash. You can see the market value of long positions, short positions. You can see the stock buying power, options buying power. You can see the pending cash, the profit loss statement, etc. All this information is retrieved daily from the clearing firm, but throughout the trading session, these parameters will be continuously updated as the trader places new orders. But the next day, we will receive this information once again from the clearing firm and update these values based on what the clearing firm has provided us with. Also here you can see the allocation of the trader's assets, you can see the top positions. If you feel like you need to manually withdraw or deposit funds from this account, you can do that right here. And you can also click update cash if you know that the trader has somehow deposited or withdrawn money uh, in some other way and you need to reconcile the conflict, you can just click this button and the cash balance will be updated. Now let's open up the all orders tab. On this tab, we can review all orders that the trader has ever placed. So right now we're looking at the orders that have been placed in the last 90 days. We can configure different filter criteria like security type, status type, order type, duration, the order placement date, expiration date, etc. So let's click on this specific order. And here we can see all of the information related to this order. For example, this order was initially suspended because it was placed after the closing of the trading session. But the next day, when the pre-market session began, uh, the order was released. And when the regular trading hour started, the order was successfully filled. Here you can also change the details of the order. If for some reason the status of the order must be changed or the quantity must be changed, you can change all of these parameters on this window. Uh, and once you're done, you can just click save and the order will be changed. Okay, now let's take a look at the positions tab and similar to orders, here you can review all of the positions of this trading account. You can filter the positions by various criteria like symbol, company name, 
the cost basis range, the profit and loss statement, etc. This table lists all of the positions of this trading account. You can also close the position, you can edit the position, or you can even delete it. And finally, you can manually add a new position by clicking Add Position. Here you must specify all of the required parameters of a new position and then click OK. Now let's take a look at the Trade tab. The purpose of this tab is to enable you to place orders on behalf of the trader. Maybe the trader doesn't have access to their phone or to their computer. They call you on the phone and ask you to buy 1000 shares of the Apple stock. In this case, you can go to the Trade tab, you can specify the ticker symbol of the Apple stock, you can specify 1000 shares, and you can verify the order and then place it on behalf of this trader. And in addition to regular orders with stocks, you can also place multi-leg orders as well. All right, now let's take a look at the margin tab. And here you can specify the margin rates for long and short positions. You can configure different margin rates for different account types. As you can see here, we have one rule for the cash, margin and day trader accounts. You can also place specific rules for different securities uh, with a specific price threshold. So according to this rule, uh, for all securities that are priced higher than $3, uh, if the account type is margin, if the equity is at least $2,000 and the current trading session is either intraday or overnight, the initial margin rate is set to 50% and the maintenance margin rate is set to 30%. Similarly, you can add as many rules as you want. You can specify different prices, different account types, different initial and maintenance margin rates. And obviously you can configure the same rules for short positions. Once you're done, click Save. And if you would like to revert to the default values, just click Restore Previous Values and all of the settings will be restored. Okay, now let's take a look at the last tab here, which is Commissions and Fees. This tab is quite simple. Here you can apply specific commissions for different securities. As you can see here, we have different commissions configured for stocks, options, spreads, and index options. For each security type, you can configure a per trade, a per contract, and a minimum commission. As usual, once you're done configuring the commissions, simply click Save, and from now on, whenever traders place new orders, these commissions will be applied depending on the type of the underlying security. All right, so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to learn more about the back office, you can watch our other videos on this YouTube playlist. And we'll see you again in the next video. Bye.